Hey everybody, this is Brett, and today I'm going to show you how to get your hardtop off of your 2007 to 2018 Jeep Wrangler JK. I've got a 2017 right here, so let's get to it. It's really easy, and I hope you enjoy the video. So before you get started, you're going to want to make sure that you have all the right tools to take your hardtop off, otherwise it's not going to work. Um, Jeep is nice enough that they give you this little kit that comes with the vehicle. Uh, to get your hardtop and doors off. Now, if you don't have this kit, you're going to have to get some Torx bits. Um, the one that we're going to need for this hardtop removal is going to be the T40, which is right there. And that's for the bolts that are in the back on the main hardtop piece. Um, but make sure that you got a Torx 40 and a ratchet. Otherwise, this is not going to work very well. All right, let's get to it. Now the first thing you're going to want to do on your uh, Wrangler is to take these screws out. There's two of them right there. Thankfully, Jeep was smart enough to uh, get rid of these for the JL and those are no longer in there. Um, they are a pain to get out because they are really long, but we'll get them out right now. So truth be told, when I had my JK, I took these out and I just left them out. I never put them back in. You can see how long they are. They fit nicely in the uh, center console here, so then you don't have to uh, worry about them ever again. But take both of them out like so. Once you get it so far, it kind of spins freely. You can see this is kind of a pain. Like I said, thankfully Jeep realized that these were a pain and removed them on the JL models. So those come out like so. Now you can do your quick disconnects. So there's one here, one here, one over there, and then up here. There's that quick disconnect. I usually would take these and open them when I had my JK, just because it's a little easier to get those up. All right, now we're ready to take the hard top pieces off. So you're gonna wanna take the driver's side off first because that goes over the lip and the seal on the passenger side. Um, and then when you put these back on, you're gonna wanna put the passenger side on first and then the driver's side. So. Now that we got all our quick disconnects and our screws out of the front pieces, you can just lift them up like so. And these are probably about, I'd say 10 to 15 pounds. So get a ladder so you don't fall. And uh, yeah, and you don't let your nice painted hard top pieces. Now you can see that lip right there. That's why you wanna put this one on first. Um, now, I don't think that the, this hard top has ever been off of this Jeep. Because they were on there pretty tight. But, you know, like so. so unfortunately, I don't have a bag for these hard top pieces. Um, this particular Wrangler is used and did not come with one, probably in the previous owner's garage somewhere. Anyways, if you do store these, you want to store them, especially since these are painted, you want to put the painted side up so that it doesn't get scratched or chip the paint. Now you can get your ratchet out and we're gonna get the uh, first bolt out here. Once again, get your ladder and your first bolt is right there. And that just comes out like so. Now we're going to take the one on the driver's side that's in the exact same spot out as well. Now you're going to want to come to the back. Now there's three bolts back here. One right here, one right there, one there, and then three on the other side. And once we do those, then we can get to the quick disconnect and then we can take the hard top off. 
All right, getting my last bolt out right here. And then I'll show you where these go. So grab all your bolts. And Jeep is really nice. They have a spot just for them. And I've been yelled at in my other video, my JL video, that I didn't show where the bolts go. So this is for you. You can see they are labeled roof. You can just put those right in there. They got spots for them all. Now the ones on the roof and for the back here are all the same size, so you don't have to worry about mixing those up. And then these are for your door hinges, um, but that's a different video. So now that you have that set, we're all set to do the quick disconnects and uh, take this hard top off. All right, so this is probably the hardest part of the whole thing. And if you don't know what you're doing, you're gonna mess it up. So there's a little safety tab here. You're gonna wanna push that to the right. And then you can uh, do this quick release right there. But you gotta get that safety tab over, otherwise it'll hang up on those. Um, probably the worst part about getting this off. Now this is just, you just press it together and that, that's for the windshield washer fluid. So now that that's disconnected, and I'll show you once we get the hard top off where I usually put mine, they don't have a good spot to put these like the JLs have. Um, so I usually tucked it under the carpeting in my JK. So now we're ready to take the hard top off. Okay, before we take the hard top off, I wanna give you my pro tip. Um, I usually do one of these in every one of my videos just to make your life easier. Close that door and leave the back glass up. You'll be able to get your hands in here and able to lift this off and walk it right off the back um, when you do take it off. So door closed, glass up, and that's my pro tip for the day. So before you take your hard top piece off, the main piece, you're gonna wanna set up an area for it to store. Um, I suggest getting some blocks of wood Especially with a painted hard top, um, you're not gonna wanna chip your corners and stuff when you take it off. Plus it's heavy, it's bulky, and you wanna have a plan before you take it off of where you're gonna put it. So I suggest getting a couple boards. Now it's 61 inches wide is what you wanna set those apart. And then the other ones wanna be about three feet, exactly three feet from one to one and all your corners will set nicely on those boards. So get those ready and uh, get it all set up and then you shouldn't have any problems and hopefully not wreck your hard top. So now that we have all the bolts out and everything's ready, we're gonna grab um, the hard top and take it off. You're gonna wanna grab a friend. I got Malik here to help us uh, take the top off. What we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of lift it up and then we're going to walk it back and put it on our blocks that we have over there that have been pre-set. Now they make lift kits and stuff that you can install in your garage to just lift it straight up. Um, we don't have those, which I assume most people don't have, so this is going to be the way that anybody can do it. So you just want to kind of lift back here, just to get it up on these pegs. I'm going to grab over here two hands kind of in the middle so that you can balance it. You're just going to want to walk it straight back and then over. And we have our pre-set up two by fours. Each corner goes on the end of a two by four. And that's how you do it. We're going to do another video of putting it back on just so you can see that. Uh, but thanks for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. And uh, hope you learned something from the video. Thanks. All right, we're gonna put it back on. I'm gonna grab one spot in the middle and one spot up here so we can balance it and get it up there. Back. 
and then it should slide into its pegs and just be on, ready to go.